from France, you're saying? Okay. I'm trying to tell you what your rights are as a cyclist. And, okay. Uh, it's going to help people fight their tickets. It's really great into that of cycling in your city. What do you have uh, to tell our friends in San Francisco about critical mass in New York City? Any, any? We're, we're, uh, well, we're under siege here, unfortunately. The ride has really shrunk. I started riding regularly in the city streets during critical mass, and that gave me the confidence to start commuting in the city every day, and now I commute year-round. It is the eight-year anniversary of the crackdown by the New York City Police Department during the Republican National Convention. The NYPD arrested hundreds of cyclists and detained them for many, many hours, impounding their bikes and denying them their right to use the roads. On this bike ride, New York City Critical Mass. So something we do here in New York quite frequently at Critical Mass when we have an NYPD escort is we walk it out. And that means you dismount your bike and you walk. It's uh, not as much fun as riding a bike, but when you do it together, it's still kind of fun and silly. Oh, there's a sound bite. So here we are, we're about, uh, I don't know if it was 30 or 40 people here at most. We're getting very close to the spot where Patrick Pogan, uh, rookie cop, tackled uh, critical mass rider Christopher Long. Chris Long was arrested for allegedly assaulting the officer, but after seeing the video, police brass placed the cop, Officer Patrick Pogan, on modified duty. For the people who take part in the monthly bike rally called Critical Mass, the department's quick action is gratifying, if not overdue. So this used to be the highlight of Critical Mass. We would stop in the middle of Times Square and uh, do a bike lift. That hasn't happened since August 2004. And this is uh, the remnants of uh, Critical Mass 2012.